Okay, welcome back. Now this game that you had built up here, where we had one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six down the bottom. And the next one over, we had one, two, three, four, five. Next one over, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, one. So that's what we needed to make. So we should have one, two, three, four, five, six levels of stairs. Now, the whole point of this activity is to understand place value, and there is a little bit of probability involved in this, and we're actually heading into probability throughout the next, well, constantly throughout this next four or five weeks. So with that in mind, what is gonna happen? Normally I'd play in class with a 10-sided dice, the smallest number being zero, which means the biggest number must be, no, it's not 10, it's nine. Okay, so you can see on there, zero, there's an eight, there's a two, that line, that means it's that way, it's a six, eight, so all the numbers are here, but because it's, uh, it's a bit messy, you doing the camera work and doing this and the lighting's pretty poor, I'm going to use uh, an automatic dice, it's nine sided, as you can see, the lowest value is it's gonna be zero and the maximum will be nine. It's a nine sided dice. The whole point is when we do the first one, it's, we're talking about the ones, okay? So we're talking about these one here, the ones. Next one over, when we come over to the left, it's gonna be a bigger number, okay? So every time we move to the left, we're making the number, it's increasing, and that means when it increases one to the left, it becomes 10 times bigger than the number to the right. Actually, so for example, if that was nine, and this was a nine, this would be then tens, so 10 times bigger. Every time it comes over one column to the left, it's 10 times bigger than the previous column. If it went back the other way, then it actually becomes smaller, 10 times smaller. So back here. After the tens is the hundreds. Next one. If you need a bit of help. Thousands. Now you can label yours as well. Might be helpful. Tens of thousands. Or ten thousands. And the next one, after 10,000, it would be 100,000, or hundreds of thousands, I'll get rid of that, 100,000. Now, this bottom, where is it? This bottom one here is going to be the total. We add up all the numbers above this. And remember, it's all based on place value. We're looking for the biggest possible number we can make. Biggest. Possible number you can make. And you have to be honest. Honest. Lost my lid. There we go. Okay, so based on this, what's going to happen? I'm going to roll the dice. So automatically, when I roll this first dice, I'm going to start in this column here. I think I've got this upside down. I'm going to try this anyway. Okay, so I'm going to roll this dice. So I roll the dice, and it's given me a seven. Now. On here, I have to start this one, with this one here. So the first one automatically has to go here. So I start in the top row. Has to be a seven, because it's the only place that it can go. Now, the next time, I can only use these two, num two place values to put in the next digit. So if I rolled a zero, I would probably put it here or here, do you think? I'm trying to make the biggest number. So if I put, if I, the next two rolls, I rolled a zero, I'd probably want to put it here, because if I put it here, 
and my next roll is either a, a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's say it was a five. Fifty is bigger, much bigger, than had I put the zero here and the five here. Okay, so you're looking for the biggest number. But as soon as I've rolled it, you have to quickly choose a spot and put it in. Okay? At the end, once we've done that one, then we come to the next one. Then we're talking hundreds. So if the next one I rolled a, a seven, if I put, where would I put a seven, do you think, looking for the biggest number? What numbers are bigger or greater than seven? Okay, so if eight or nine, have you got much of a chance of rolling an eight or nine? I might, I might put it here. If I was honestly gonna do it, either here or here. I wouldn't put it here. Unless you think it's gonna be a nine or an eight that's gonna come up. So once we've done that one, we're onto the thousands, hundreds of thousands. Once we've done that, we stop, and then you have to add them all up in their place value. And the biggest number wins. Okay, so that's what we'll do. Let's have a try at this. So, seven was the first one. Now, everyone done that? Put the seven in. As soon as I rolled the dice, you have three seconds to choose either one of those two. Here we go. And it is a, go on four. Five. Ooh, five, five. Three seconds, remember, I'm gonna put it here. Yes, done it. Three, two, one, next one. Okay, next one is a, I need a, I need a bigger number. I better roll it, haven't I? It's a, nine, yes, nine. So my number is 95. You might have 95 or you might have 59. So at the moment, I've got everything as possibly as high as I can probably get it. Now my luck's probably gonna run out now. So here we go, we're on to this one here. So at the moment my total is 102. Yours might be 102 or 59 plus seven will be 66. So big difference, so you need to make sure your big numbers are up this way. Next one. It is a six. Six, ooh, I'm going here in the middle. Okay, three, two, one. Next one. It's a, it is a, a six. Ooh, where do you think you're gonna go? I'm gonna go here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get a seven or eight or a nine. Confident. Have you done the same or are you a bit smarter than Mr. Blair? All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Next one is a, come on, seven, eight, oh, it's a six. Well, we all would end up with this. So, Mr. Blair, I've still got the possible highest number. Have you done the same? Mm, all right, on to the next one. We're now on the tens, thousands, the ten thousands. Here we go. It's a four. Ooh, we'll go here. I'm just going in the tens. I think 40 is pretty good. All right, three, two, one. Next one. It's a nine. Well, I'm pretty smart. I think I'm going to get two nines. No doubt about it. I'm really confident. You should follow me. I'm, yeah. Next one. Three, two, one. Give me another nine. Seven. All right. That's got to go there because I know I'm going to get a nine. I know. I'm confident. I hope. All right. Maybe a smart move might have been putting it there. Don't rub it out. Next one. It's a, come on, nine. Oh, no. Five. So, how would I say this? Five, nine, four, seven. 5,947. The biggest possible number in this one, what do you think you could have got? You can pause that video and have a think about that. Get some water, have a break. Ooh, yeah, have a little break. I'm gonna have to think of how I'm gonna catch up. Hmm. All right, welcome back. 
The biggest possible number you could have got was 9754. So that would look like 9754. The smallest number you could have possibly got would have been 4000, the other way around, 500, oh, and 79. So, Mr. Blair made a mess. He should have put his 9 there. Remember, don't do what Mr. Blair does. All right, here we go, on to the next one, the final round before we add them all up. All right, the next one, it's a two. A two, two, let's go to two here. Because I might get a one or a zero. So I guess, one, two, three, four. Yes, it's likely that the numbers will be bigger. Next one, so make sure you put your answer in before I roll it, a three. Oh, do I go there? No, let's go there. So I could have got 32, but I've 23. All right, three, two, one. It's a three. Oh, could be, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm changing it. I might be another three coming up, or a two or a one, so, or maybe, oh, it's too late, we can't rub it out. Three. Two, one, it's a four, it's a four. Um, now, if I go here, that's, I don't know, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go here. I think this is trying to trick me. So I'm going with 43,000, I don't know how many hundreds, and 23. I could have gone here and it's something yeah, I don't know what it's going to be. So I, for me, to win this game, I need this to be as low as possible. Because I think you guys might be better than this, better than me. Next one, here we go. All right, final roll. Give us a low number. It's, oh, it's a six. So in this case, if I add up these, if you add them all up, if you're really stuck, you can use a calculator. But Mr. Blair's going to add up his. He's going to estimate first roughly is about 43,000, or 5,000, or 600. It's gonna be roughly around about 50,000, give or take. Here we go. So you pause the video, and you add them up, and we'll come back and see how much I've won by, or lost by. All right, here we go. 12, 18, 28. Bring the two up here. Next thing. See, I can see a six and a four. They're close together, it's a 10. If I make 10, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Make sure you check Mr. B's working. He might try and pretend he doesn't know what he's doing, but he's probably cheating. So, was that 52 or 20? Okay. Uh, I don't know. Was that 22? Did I put that? Oh, 23. 23. Okay. So, next one. A 9 and... Two sixes, so two sixes are 12 plus a nine and a two. I'm going to change that two to a, or add the two to six, that makes eight. Eight and nine, 17. 17 and six, 23. Bring the two over here. Oh, this is great because I can make a three and a two to equal five. And a five plus five we know is 10. Put that one up here. One plus four. So my total. Of 50,338, not bad, but he could have got much bigger than me. So pause it there, see if you can add up. Obviously, you've done yours, have you won against me? See if you can come up with what possible numbers could have been the biggest for each roll. So, this one was obviously seven, that's the biggest. This one here. 95, yeah. This one was obviously 666. You obviously want to add, put them in the right place, but you must have put them all over the place. Terrible. You want to line them up. Next one, biggest number was 9, 7, etc. Okay, so that's what you want to do. Then add them up, see what the biggest possible number would have been. And maybe do the opposite, see what the smallest possible number would have been. All right, let me know what you got. Pretty good effort. We'll see you later.